Hi YouTube! So I get quite a few compliments on my wardrobe and how I style things and put them together. So I decided to make a video on my thinking process in choosing outfits and tips or rules that I follow. So one of my staple pieces in my outfits and wardrobe is the skinny belt. And what I like to do a lot is um, I like to put it over things, either over a jacket, a cardigan, a sweater, a shirt, uh, just to add some sort of um, texture or, not texture, more character to the outfit. If you've seen my safari outfit of the day, you can see that I wore this belt and it kind of pulls it pulls the cardigan and the dress together. Also in my ballerina outfit of the day, I have this belt um, kind of in a way to dress the outfit down because of the skirt. So you can really use this for a lot of different reasons. Um, I'll post the links to those videos below so you can get what I mean by using this belt for dressing things down or for just finishing an outfit. Next I have the cardigan. Um, I've really been loving cardigans lately. I think they're cheap for the most part depending on where you go and they're easy to just throw on on top of anything. Uh, the colors that I go for in cardigans that I think you should at least have, once again just like the belts, is black and some sort of beige or a gray perhaps. So this is like a beige color and these are good for dressing something down or just um, just keeping you warm. I have um, the theme of having something dressy or fancy and dressing it down. So sometimes you may have a dress that you think is really cute but you feel that it might be a little too much to wear during the day or it's not the appropriate um, occasion. For some dresses or for some um, clothing you can actually dress it down and I'm not saying you can do this with all of them because there's definitely some dresses that are just you can't dress just forever 21 and it has like a vintage look kind of it's like a summer dress now normally I wouldn't just wear this to school by itself because it may look like a little too much it looks something like you would wear for Easter or to go to church or something like that so what you can do with a dress like this is you can dress it down. And the way you dress something that's like fancy or classy down, add add like a jacket, a sweater, or a belt, something that's simple and plain. So what I would do with this is add a jean jacket to it, which I've seen with a lot of dresses, how they dress, um, dress them down. They add a jean jacket. So... Now that you wear it like this, it's a little bit more wearable for your school. Another example I have H&M. Just like this. And it has um, like this like ballerina skirt kind of going on. Now this, like I said, might be a little too much or like too fancy. You might think to go to school. What I actually would do is wear an oversized button-up shirt. Leave it open and then wrap it around with the belt. Just to tone it down and make it look more wearable. Next, the same way you can dress something down, you can dress it up. So an example of that would be a summer dress. Summer dress is a little bit more casual. It's for going out in those sunny um, summer days. So I have my leopard maxi dress. Now you wouldn't just go out with this on a cold day, you would think, but you can make it work. Um, I know this specific maxi dress has a lot of print, so I don't know if you would consider it like simple, but there are maxi dresses that are just, um, you know, plain, like one solid color, or they just don't have these type of prints. And what you can do is, if you want to go out at night and you want to wear a maxi dress and just dress it up, you can add a blazer and then wear the maxi dress underneath and you'll look more sophisticated just because the blazer will pull it together. Now if you want to go to school I suggest you wear the maxi dress with a cardigan that matches. Now I wouldn't wear this specific cardigan in my safari outfit of the day you see that I wear this with a black cardigan and then I have the belt around it. So don't close off something just because it's too fancy 
or it seems too summery. You can play with it and try to um, either dress it up, dress it down. That brings me to the blazer. I suggest or I think that everyone should have at least one black blazer just because um, it matches with pretty much everything and it just instantly gives you that sophistication and classy look. My favorite types of shirts are v-necks. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, so I love v-necks. And what I like to do, if you're on a budget, Forever 21 has a lot of little mini skirts like this, cotton mini skirts. They have this floral print and this tribal print. And these range from like $8.50 to like $14. So they're really inexpensive. And what you can do is just wear a baggy oversized v-neck with one of the skirts. I do this is the v-neck is plain and simple, but I'm dressing it up with the printed skirt. If you're gonna like buy the skirt and then a matching shirt, try not to get the main color of the skirt. So for example, the color that shows up here the most is green, so I wouldn't get a green v-neck. I would get the color that shows up the least. So probably, uh, probably like that purple, or maybe like the turquoise color, or even the brown, which is why this like neutral brown color kind of goes with it. Things I um, love is animal prints. So most of the time when I think of animal print, I automatically assume that I'm going to wear something red or add red lipstick to it. So I have this animal print skirt, pencil skirt, and when I was looking for a top, I looked for something red just because I think that red and leopard or any almost any animal print go well together. I think that the red just pops out more with the animal um, prints. So that's something I kind of stick to. Um, another thing, when you're dressing up, let's say you're dressing military inspired. That's one of my favorite things. I have a lot of military inspired um, articles of clothing. So if I'm going to dress in military style, if I'm sticking to one whole theme, which is the military, I will mix the colors. If I'm doing mixed themes, so for example, fancy and something casual to dress it down, I'll try to match the colors. Um, in my b ballerina outfit of the day, that's an example of mixing themes. Um, I have my button-up collared shirt with my, like, um, earrings it just from from my waist up it looks all fancy and like sophisticated looking and then from the bottom down it looks more punk rock so that's that's what I mean by mixing two themes so if you're gonna do a lot of uh, mixing themes try to somewhat um, match the colors so I'm not saying if you have like black and white black and white but like try to stay close to the same colors don't don't do like completely opposite colors because it's just going to look like too much. You have different things going on. You don't want a whole bunch of different colors going on. Um, when you're sticking to one theme, for example, the military or like sa um, sailor looking theme, you can mix the colors. So we all know for the sailor theme, it's blue, white, and red. So you can mix those colors together. When I'm lazy, I do not always dress up. So when I don't feel like dressing up, I usually just put a regular t-shirt on with jeans, which is fine, but I accessorize it. So ways you can accessorize are by a scarf, and this is a printed scarf, so this is a statement piece, and I could be wearing a plain white v-neck with some jeans, and by adding the scarf, it adds that pop of color and character, depending on the color scarf you get, actually. But it just adds character to the outfit. Also, you can accessorize a plain outfit by jewelry. And what I tend to do is I use statement pieces, either ne like statement necklaces, rings, or um, earrings. So here are examples of some statement rings. I have my pyramid ring. I have my tiger ring, this big bow, or this big snake. So just like things that really pop out. 
you can accessorize a plain outfit and you'll look more put together. Mm, this ring won't come off. This bracelet, for example. This charm bracelet, it just stands out more. So, things that just kind of stand out. These earrings, these are statement earrings. I could wear a plain outfit, but if I pop these on, I look more thought out and put together. Same with necklaces. I can wear a plain v-neck with jeans, but I'll add a statement necklace, and it makes a huge difference. I have another example of a statement necklace right here. So the other day, I didn't know what to wear. I wore this, um, like, salmon color v-neck, baggy v-neck, plain jeans, and I added this necklace to it, and it just made everything look a lot more put together. And I think I added... Yeah, I did. I added a black blazer on top, and it just makes it fit into different. glasses, like the Geek glasses. I have these brown ones, so this makes me look a little bit more urban. Or you can play with color if your outfit or shirt doesn't have much color, and do like some red glasses. And just looks, you look a lot more, you stand out more, basically. Um, so... That's another tip. Personally, I suggest to invest more in statement pieces um, if you don't have a lot of money. And Forever 21 has um, a lot of cute statement uh, jewelry. Just because that way, if you have um, at least a few statement pieces in jewelry, you don't need to spend a lot or have a whole bunch of jewelry, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, if you don't have a lot of money to spend, at least have like two necklaces or like a pair of earrings, something that really pops out that you can wear constantly. So one of my favorite necklaces that I wear a lot is this um, black kind of uh, rosary inspired skeleton necklace. And I just like throwing it on like plain t-shirts and stuff. So if you have like at least, I don't know, I think you guys get what I'm saying. I have this other gold one that I wear a lot. This one's a little more on the plain side, but it's like a staple for me. So find what makes staples in your wardrobe or things that can just help your plain outfit stand out more. Let's see what else. Oh yeah. Um personally for me, when I'm lazy. I have more of an urban looking style. So by urban I mean, you know, just plain t-shirt, v-necks, flannels, hoodies with just plain um, jeans. So today I have a v-neck, my Lady Gaga v-neck, and then I just have some black jeans from Forever 21, and then I just have some uh, military boots. So, there wasn't much thought to my outfit, and it's simple, but that's what I mean kind of by urban, or if I just had a flannel on top. Then, let's see what else am I missing? Oh, jeans. Okay, my suggestions for jeans is everybody should have at least one pair of dark denim wash jeans, one pair of light blue denim wash jeans, and a black pair of jeans. So three pairs of jeans at least. That's me personally what I think. Just because um, blue jeans match with pretty much everything. Dark denim is a little bit more sophisticated. So if you're going to go out at night to a bar to get a drink or go to um, a dinner or something, you can wear the dark denim wash jeans. Light denim wash jeans kind of is more casual looking for like everyday um, use. And then just black just mixes it up so people don't think you just have blue, two pairs of blue jeans. Like, it just mixes it up. And black matches with everything. So that's my personal suggestion. And I do have a pair of black jeans, blue jeans. Oh, and white jeans. I think white jeans are good for um, spring. But then again, they're kind of see-through a lot of the time, so that's why I don't... I don't know. But if you have at least a pair of dark denim wash jeans, light and black, I think you're good. Then, so yeah, comment below, let me know what you think. Um, sorry if I missed anything out, or if you have any questions, just ask me below.
So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye YouTube.